y'all are having a great day today. Today, we are doing a world overview of the beautiful Suva Diva Resort by Nil6. Okay, I literally, when I say that I tried to pronounce this name so many times, all right? So many times I came right into embarrassing. Um, and I don't know if I pronounced it right. I'm sorry. I even put it into Google, you know, to pronounce it for me. Listen, I'm so bad at pronunciations. Here we are. Okay, today, reviewing this beautiful world. And this world is actually released in 2014, so a lot of you guys probably already know about it. You're probably already familiar. But I kind of wanted to go back a little bit because I use this resort a lot, okay, when it was first released, like a lot. It's a problem. I, I, like, I really use this world a lot. So I feel like because I've used it, I think it would be nice to kind of go back. First off, because I don't really send my Sims to vacation very often, and it was really fun sending my Sims here and getting to experience, like, the whole vacation traveler mod. Now, this world can work as, like, a regular world in The Sims 3 that you would just move into, or you can use the traveler mod and use it as a vacation spot. I will have a video on how to download mods down below. I'll also have the link to the traveler mod and of course the link to this beautiful world. Now Suva Diva Resort is as I said a resort in The Sims 3 and it is very beautiful. The CC creators just kill it. Now this world has 14 residential lots and 18 community lots. This world also only requires Island Paradise. Like isn't that useful? And obviously the Sims 3 base game, but it only requires Island Paradise and I think that's super cool that you know you only have to really have one expansion. So for anybody who's really into the island, you know, part of The Sims 3 and resorts and stuff, this will be the perfect world for you. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look because like I'm getting feels already. I'm getting so many good memories of me playing in this world. The diving spots are superior okay i used to have my sim get really high in the scuba diving skill and actually i did do that off camera my sim is level three in scuba diving and then this guy right here is level one in scuba diving so i think i'm going to send my other sim to scuba dive in this video just so you can kind of see the beginner diving spot it's just so superior like i don't know how else to explain it so we get a couple of good public lots and since Obviously, this lot is a lot smaller. We will be checking out the homes and everything like that, just in case you decide that you want to physically move your sim here. As I said, right now, my sims are just on vacation, and I probably will only use this as a vacation spot. But, you know, if you like the island life, this may just be perfect for you. So, if you do decide that you want to sim your sims on vacation here, this is the base camp, and it's kind of like right on the edge of the water, and it just looks really really cute but there's also two different resorts i have my sim staying at the bigger one because like i'm so obsessed with this resort but we'll get into that later but surprisingly i actually want to check out the houses first because of the fact that like this is more i'm using this as a vacation spot i really want to see what the houses look like so this is the town center i guess it would be like this pool area and i think it is so so beautiful like so beautiful. I was taking some really good pictures over here. I just love the water and everything. And there is houses all around it. So if you do decide that you want to move your Sims here, they have some houses to live in. So let's take a look at like, I mean, can I even look at these since technically we're here on vacation? I'm pretty sure that we can. So oops. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open the lot and take a look. Ooh. I really like this decorating style and I love the shade of green. Ooh, I wish I could copy that. But this is beautiful. I love this home and also our literal tub has like this section in it. I've never thought of doing that. I haven't really explored like any of the stuff in Suva Diva before, like the homes or whatever. So I feel like this looks real cute. I love this. I, as I said, I only really use this for a vacation spot. I don't think I've ever moved my Sims in this world, but I just feel like because of that, I haven't explored the homes or anything. I haven't really needed to. So I really love this a lot. This is a really pretty home. <gasps> Ooh, I might just copy this. This would be very beautiful in Simla Isles. I know this is very random, but it just gives me very Simla Isles and I live for it because Simla Isles is just 
spectacular and this is amazing so this is the resort that we're staying at also which i'll show you guys later it's just oh, so much good stuff okay so i'm pretty sure that all of these homes probably look the same from the inside but i kind of want to check out one more home i guess we could take a look at this one see what this looks like because i gotta check it out okay oh okay oh they all they're all literally replicas of each other okay that's actually pretty cool <laughs> i don't know why i just think that's really funny uh, but you guys know that in previous videos i've said that i think it's really cool when creators do different type of styling with each house and make each house unique we see that with a lot of my sims reality houses they kind of still keep the same theme but they also have their own uniqueness and it's just tea anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and open this home and see what this looks like since it's a little bit different on the outside okay yeah so this is different i actually really like this too let's turn on the lights because you can like barely see Ooh. okay their furnishing is very very good like very good very good amazing spectacular um, this is also the same creator that made the cruise ship like this creator just gives us very island and I live for it Like I'm so in love with their content just so superior in every way So we've seen the pool and everything already, but well, it's actually called the calm river We're gonna just zoom back into it because ugh, It's just so beautiful like the ugh, It just makes me so upset because i can't do terrain i just could never do this in my life and the just the talent still as iconic today as it was in 2014 okay i don't know if it was actually released i'm pretty sure it was released in 2014 i don't know also can we talk about the fact that there is a welcome port so whenever you do arrive into the world it's kind of like you're getting off of a boat and it gives me very sims 2 castaway i don't know why um i've been playing a lot of the sims 2 lately but it just gives me very much Sims 2 Castaway, and I live, okay? Um, it's just so cute. So, um, I think maybe there's a couple of, like, little stores. There's an internet cafe. Oh, and there's another pool. Okay, we got to check that out. But let's check out the internet cafe because there's not a lot of, like, community lots here. Oh, okay, this is just, like, a computer space. They really love green, which I live for, because it gives me a lot of greenery, and it just matches the whole aesthetic of the world. One thing I can say is this world runs like butter, and I'm living, because it's so small. Okay, um, maybe we could go to, since the bistro is obviously, like, we can't visit it, let's go check out the kids' park and see what that looks like. Ooh, I just love the greenery like it's just so pretty and it's so nice that there's a kids park because a lot of vacation spots they don't really have anything for kids to do so like it'd be a struggle whenever I want to send my kids on vacation with my couples I'm like I might as well just take the adults and the teens because the children can't really do anything so it's nice that there's like something for the kids to be able to do and if we go to over here Oh, this is nice. It's just a pool that like your Sims can chill out on, watch the ocean. Ooh, beautiful. I love it. So the resorts in this world are just, just amazing. Just everything that you could have ever wanted from a resort. The reason why I like this world is it was a very good medium. I hate Isla Paradiso, okay? I love the world. I think it's amazing. It's definitely superior in the Sims 3 world catalog. However, the lag, okay? The lag. And I feel like this is a very good way to get Island Paradise, but still also get, you know, the uniqueness from a different world. So if you're looking for, if you love resorts and stuff like that, this would be a very good good world for you because it's very small and I feel like you won't really deal with as much lag as you would in Island Paradise and also the diving spots just amazing okay every just awesome all right do I need to say any more okay anyways um oh there's food it's beautiful you guys it is beautiful I'm trying to act as if I haven't seen a lot of these things and you know make it all new and fresh but some of you guys you know maybe you haven't seen this before and this is something that's new to you and I just think it's so cute I just I love this world okay we're actually gonna go over here and can we firewalk 
No. Okay, I forgot. We're staying at the other resort, so we can't really utilize any of these um, resort festivities. But I feel like this one actually has more to do. Maybe that's just me. But we're going to go check out um, the other resort. But this one's really nice. There's also a little wedding chapel. It looks beautiful. And you can look out into the ocean and whatnot. So if we go up. Ooh, I just love it. It's so cute. Okay, let's go to the resort that my Sims are staying at because this one, the greenery, look at the trees. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I've just, it just makes me emotional. It's just so good. It just brings back so many good memories. Am I actually getting emotional? No, but you know, it just it's making me happy. And we can also get some food and drink from this cute little stand. Look how cute this is. Look how cute this is. We're gonna come over here and get something to drink. And it is a beachside food stand. Who do you know that has that? <laughs> Probably a lot of people, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And also my Sims have gotten so sunbathed, suntanned, sunbathed, I don't know, from the heat, all right? It has just been a mess. And um, okay, why? I don't really care about what the council says. Um. Did we get something? Why are you not getting food or drink? What is happening? All right. Oh yeah, there is a little buffet area, but why isn't there two tables? The other place had two tables. Oh, there is two. All the food, why is there bugs on top of the food? Oh, it's cause some of it's nasty. Nobody changed it out. Okay. And it looks like the little cashier stand's glitching out so I won't be able to get food or drink. It's fine. Um, but these are all of the rooms. They're all pretty much identical, just faced in different directions. But I think it's really cool that, like, this one has two beds, like, more space if you want to have your kids here, too. I really love how this resort caters to children as well. And the park is right next door. So that's super helpful. It's so cute. Just even scrolling through the world, you see so much greenery and so much things that you probably wouldn't see if you were zoomed out into the map view. And I think that also is what makes this world so cute. So like this is the bistro. Look how cute it is. It's so cool. And there's also seating at the top and everything. So you can kind of sit here and then maybe or like grab your food from the bistro and then eat out. Side. You know, use the mod to eat outside and have your sims just sit in this area. This world is also unpopulated for anybody who asks because I know I'm going to get those questions. Um, but it's getting kind of dark in my game. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have my sim go ahead and scuba dive real quick. We got to do it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this view. Oh, it's so beautiful. Like, oh, it's so pretty. The greenery and just everything, just all the pictures and stuff that I'm going to take from my Sims vacation in this world. But anyways, I do have my Sim actually scuba diving right now because I wanted you guys to be able to see the scuba diving feature in this world and how it works and everything. If the screen is kind of dark, it's just because it's dark in the game. But uh, let's go ahead and see if there's anything interesting. It is kind of hard to see too when it's darker. So, and I think we already dived here and got pretty much everything that I wanted from like our previous days of staying here. So I'm just going to have her view a couple things. Oh my gosh. Actually, let's catch the seahorse. Catch the seahorse. Come on, girl. Swim and catch him. He is like, get away from me. <laughs> I do not have the time. Get out of my face. Catch the seahorse. It's so cute. Also, um, her mans came down here and he got um, a really good old uh, treasure chest of 2,000 simoleons. was very helpful to our funds. I really appreciated it. Ooh, this seahorse is worth 1,000 simoleons? I mean, we have a couple of good things just from us, um, you know, exploring the underwaters because I had to get them advanced in their skill as well, which was really, really fun. I feel like, I don't know, this is a good medium. It runs really well and I really enjoy the fact that like, I can still have the Island Paradise experience. So yeah. Oh, and she's getting kind of hungry. So I think maybe she should get out of the water. 
But anyways, you guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think of Suvadova Resort. I hope I pronounced it right. I feel like I just pronounced everything wrong, and y'all be clocking me in the comments. Anyways, so um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you all have an amazing, amazing weekend. And let me know in the comments down below if you've seen this world before and if you played it as much as I did. And also let me know if you've never played it before. Like, I really want to know. Anyways, I love y'all so much. Hope you all have an amazing day, and I will see you all very soon with another new video bye a secret yeah i promise i keep it our little secret